was actually the easiest part of this whole concept. We, uh, we started working on this about two years ago and it was, well, what do you want to call it? Tuckers. Okay, done. And Tucker is our uh, six-year-old Mastiff. We have two Mastiffs, but uh, Tucker is the one that shines on this concept. <laughs> we always say he knows beef. So first we start off with our uh, all-natural Creekstone ground beef. We layer about two ounces of our shredded onions. We are always American food, mostly regional, but we like to take American classics and put our own twist on it. So with Cheevers, regional um, comfort food, steakhouse with red, barbecue with Iron Star. Um, <clears throat> so it only seemed natural uh, for us to take an original Oklahoma food, which is uh, onion burgers, and make it our own. Not to mention we both love burgers. <laughs> so we let them sit here for just a second. Then comes the best part, the mash. Get those burgers completely filled with that onion. Well, El Reno's the home of the Oklahoma onion burger, and it could possibly be the only um, food cuisine um, born and bred here in Oklahoma. So um, Heather really kind of started the whole conversation. We love burgers. We think we can. We knew we could do a great burger, but we didn't want to do a burger with you know, 50 ingredients and, and one, we wanted to be different. So let's be different, but let's be simple. Let's go back to the basics. And so we have the onion burger. Doesn't spend a whole lot of time on its side with the burger itself, just enough to start to get it to cook. And then it gets split and it spends the majority of its time with the onions on the bottom getting cooked into the burger. Average cook time on one of our burgers is somewhere between three and five minutes. So that's one of the things we pride ourselves on is being able to make that burger fresh to order. Whenever uh, a guest comes in to order it for the first time, they get the freshest possible product. We, we want to promote not just our businesses, but other businesses as well. We want uh, the people of Oklahoma to enjoy independent restaurants. We think there's some great independent operators in town, especially here, you know, between 63rd and downtown. So uh, we really wanted to capitalize on the momentum that eat local and everything about it not to even mention our ingredients here the entire um, the buns are local the beef is local um, so most components of the of our of the burger is a, a local ingredient now, the second half of the great burger concept comes from the bread prairie thunder baking company fresh made preservative free hamburger buns Come to us fresh baked every morning, sliced by hand, run quickly through an industrial toaster, lightly buttered, and then toasted. This is the first restaurant we've ever had that doesn't have a real handheld menu with servers, so each of these pictures sort of tell a little bit about our products, but the other thing is um, they really kind of tell the history of our restaurant group, or Keith and I, in that every single person is from here in Oklahoma and has some kind of story associated with um, Keith and I growing up in the food business. So then we have a warm, perfectly toasted bun. This is where it gets dressed with any number of condiments. So I'm gonna give you the fully loaded burger, starting with mayonnaise, a little shredded lettuce, sliced fresh hothouse tomatoes, pickles, and we're gonna go ahead and add a little jalapeno to this one for some heat as well. One of our uh, staple ingredients has been the grilled jalapeno on the burger. Didn't realize it was gonna be such a favorite until we opened up, and probably three out of five burgers that we sell nowadays come with those grilled jalapenos. And we uh, sell it with all natural Land O'Lakes American cheese. Double burger stacked, caramelized onions, four pieces of cheese. Beautiful Oklahoma onion burger. And you'll notice that the cheese isn't completely melted, but once we wrap it, with the bun being as warm as it is, and the meat being as warm as it is, it turns it into a little oven, and all that cheat melts down, cheese melts down, and it gets nice and gooey and sexy. And there's your double Tucker onion burger, all wrapped up. 
ready to go. just because we have been on 23rd now for 11 years um, and this building was a, a convenience store a long time ago. In yeah, fact, it was originally a Texaco station in yeah. the 1950s and we've actually had a couple of customers who have come in and used to work here yeah. when it was a gas station. Yeah, so a pretty, pretty big transformation. Um, renovating the space almost just down to the shell. Um, one of the most beautiful things we found in the renovation, usually when you do something with older buildings, there's some kind of jewel that you didn't know. Um, the ceilings are all the original um, metal ceilings, which were not repainted. They were really battleship gray. We washed them <laughs> and could not believe how beautiful um, the ceilings were. I think they're one of the prettiest things, but we put in tile, sheetrock, um, new windows, new windows, patio. Mm -hmm. The foreman on this job and has been on several other of our projects um, is my mother, Tanya Turner. So uh, she, I like to say, is the original flipper. I mean, she, she's been flipping <laughs> homes for probably 25 years, I think. Um, and certainly knows a lot more about a joist and a <laughs> some kind of screw, I don't know, um, than Keith and I do. And she has been um, really invaluable to us on any of the renovations we've done, um, starting at Cheevers all the way up. You know, one thing we, we have in mind when, we, when we, we're concepting Tucker's is we want to have a, a, a clean restaurant, a friendly staff, um, knowledgeable staff, and people that just love to, to have a great time. And we thought it would take, you know, 60, 90, maybe a year to pull that off, but I think we're, we've got it already. Um, the staff here is great, so when you come in, you should be treated with, uh, with smiles and, and handshakes and, and be welcome to Tucker's. I take mine, um, I take a double with cheese, with mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, onions of course, and pickles. Wow. It's a totally different combination if I'm gonna, if it's not an onion burger, I go a different route, but <laughs> it's something about onion burgers, you have to have pickles with onions. <laughs> so, extra is better. I am meat, cheese, and onions only. Wow. Just a purist. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> 